What it do, what it do, what it do, man. BY3 the hallway. Once again, y'all know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Live from 85, back at it again, man. The rules one on the net. Boss talk of business, you know what to do. Subscribe. We had a real jump in the subscriber here lately, man. I appreciate all the love, but I also see it's a lot of people that's not subscribed to watch the channel. So when you come, man, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Support your boys free. All right, y'all, let's get right to it. Young Thug, he just hit a plea deal. So right now, Young Thug should be at home. He just took a 40-year sentence with time served. I want to say he got five years to serve, so they count as time served. But he also has 15 years on probation. But I want to go to this clip right now with Young Thug talking to the judge and Y'all check this out. We'll be right back with it. Um, I take full responsibility for, you know, my crimes or my charges. Uh, I want to say sorry to my family, my mom. My mom got 11 kids. I can't say all their names, you know. My managers, my kids is not here. Uh, really, everybody that got something to do with this situation, I want to say sorry for just like, you know, been having so much time investing into this, you know, and um, I am a, a, a smart guy. I am a good guy, and I really got a good heart, you know. I, I find myself in a lot of stuff because because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could end bad. And then, and they don't really have to have nothing to do with you, but it could end bad, and it could, you know, fall on you. And I know <clears throat> the choice is yours; is up to you. And I hope that you allow me to go home today and and just trust in me to just do the right thing and never see you again, unless it's unless it's at a you know bar in the future or something. Just out of this type of situation, I promise you, I won't ever be in this type of situation again. I'm I'm going away. I've learned from my mistakes. You know, I come from nothing and I've made something and I didn't take full advantage of it. I'm sorry. Uh, through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened to me because you made, made everything fair for me and everybody involved. On both sides, you know. Um, I'm sorry to the sheriff, you know, everybody for just having to put extra time in. I know y'all got paid more money, but I'm sorry for y'all having to put this extra time in to be away from y'all family, you know. And I just hope that you find it in your heart to allow me to go home and be with my family and just do do better as a person. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I am. I know the heights I've reached. I know the impact I got on people, period, in the community, you know, all people. I learned that late, like past these past two or three years of my life, I kind of learned that late. And maybe it was because I was, you know, probably on drugs or anything. I don't know. But I have came to my senses and I understand what I mean to this world. But I am a good guy, you know, I, I I don't mind doing stuff like, you know, like uh, free shows, and I always did that, you know, I, I did free shows and gave it to single parents, millions of dollars, you know, I made $1.8 million on, on a free show, and I gave it all to single parent charity, and I did like two or three shows that made like 700000 a piece, and I gave it to uh, the breast cancer organization, like, you know, I, I, I do things, like I put millions of dollars back into my community for real, I really did. I did more than anybody ever did from my side, you know? But I understand, you know, rap lyrics. I understand how it can be twisted. I understand what it can do to the mind of people. I understand all that, and I'm, I promise you I'm 100% changing that. You know, it's just I'm older. I'm grown now, you know, and it's just like 
I'm smarter. It's more things to rap about. Like I, I've experienced a lot of good things. I experienced more bad things, but I experienced a lot of good things too. And anyway, I can, I can go. For all right, y'all, that was Young Thug talking to the judge, you know, being real heartfelt. You know, I feel everything he's saying. And I, and I, I ain't going to lie. I kind of believe he's sincere with it, man. So I think Young Thug won't get into no, no more trouble because this right here was a lot to get out of. And before I say everything that's going on with it, I wonder how Woody and Gunna feel. You feel me? Because, you know, Woody, he made that thing saying he was sorry and... We all know what Gunner said, you know, admitted it was a gang, and you know what's the edge that other people said, but I wonder how they feel now that Thug home, and how Thug feel, you feel me? Will he still rock with him? You know, I don't think he gonna rock with Woody, but is he still gonna rock with Gunner? Because street-wise, it's not a good move, but business-wise, it is, because Gunner just dropped the album, and it did great, <clears throat> when people thought it wasn't gonna do nothing. But check this out. I want to shout out Young Thug Lawyer, Brian Steele. So if anybody gets into some trouble, I think y'all need to get in touch with Brian Steele because he pulled some strings behind the scenes, you know. To get off, first off, okay, this, this trial been going on for two years. Now Thug, he was originally charged with criminal racketeering and gang conspiracy. And then, you know, the conspiracy to violate Georgia racketeer, influence, and corrupt organizations, which is the RICO. So, he pled guilty to two counts. Conspiracy to violate Georgia racketeering, influence, and corrupt organizations. And participation in criminal street gang activity. So, he pled guilty to those. It's been going on for two years. And then you had last, this past Tuesday and Wednesday, it was six other defendants that's on the trial. But three of them reached plea deals too, so... For lesser charges or whatever so if they're not home they should be coming home soon or what else is it okay yeah but thug right now part of part of his probation is that he can't be in metro Atlanta, and i want to say that's for 10 years and of course you know the drugs you know you can't do no drugs or whatever and but they giving him a little leniency meaning that if he has concerts or dentist appointments, doctor appointments, you know, anything like that, you know, he can he can travel in there. But for the most part, he can't because they don't want to be around gangs or get around the wrong people and all that, you feel me? Because you know when you're on probation or whatever, you can't be around convicted felons, no way. So, that's a win for Thug, man. Thug home right now when people thought he was gone, counting them out. And all them folks that counted them out, I know that he, you know, he ain't forgetting it. So don't think he did. He ain't forgetting it. Woody and who else? Uh, going on and you know all these folks that was that was on the case with him that took plea deals early, but had to admit that it was a game. Now Thug just played guilty too, but you know it's to the same thing really. But Thug is the one they wanted, so. You know, that brings in the question, like, okay, so, your people say Gunner told, you know, admitting that it was a gang or whatever. Can you say Thug told? But the thing is, your Thug told, he told on himself. You feel me? Because that, he was the head. That's who they wanted. Gunner, when he told, it really just put Thug in a corner. So, I don't know how people gonna look at that. I just told you how I look at it, but, you know, I think all them guys really just put Thug in a bad, in a bad predicament, you know, and he just had a real good lawyer, and, hey, his lawyer got him out of there, man. His lawyer got him out of there. So, Thug is home. And I want to say in YFN and Lucci case, he's taking a plea deal also, but, I don't know how long he'll get or whatever. I think he's been sentenced also, so he'll be home soon. So now you got those two out the way, and now you got Dirt finna get ready to go on his trial pretty soon because Dirt pled not guilty. So I wonder what do Dirt know that we don't know.
because I seen a video earlier and basically was saying if Dirk plead no guilty, then he must have something that's, that's not tying him to it. But yeah, gotta be something not tying him to it. What I say, no guilty. I meant not guilty. Let <laughs> me go back right and get my words right. But yeah, man, we're gonna see how it turned out for Dirk and a hey, thug home. So congratulations, man, and I hope you stay free. Shout out to Thug, shout out to Lucci, shout out to Dirk, shout out to, you know, all these folks, man, and everybody going through hard times right now, and also, let me say this before I get off this, before I get off here, to anybody, any up-and-coming dudes that's in the streets, right, and you want to be a rapper, take heed to what you're seeing right now, because don't think that you can get in and you're going to do it better, or or they did it wrong. They had they should have did it like this. Nah. This the way you need to do it. Either be all the way in with the rap game or be all the way in with the streets. Don't do both. You can't do both. It's impossible. It ain't no rapper out here that has done both. Not now. It ain't one. I can name you a bunch of them that tried and everybody got caught. It's not one rapper that's done it. And has not went to jail or got caught. Everybody do. And it's always behind a snitch. Always. It would never ever be a rapper. That would be in the streets. And rapping. And just go free. And nothing happens to him. Eventually you do get caught. And that's just the facts. So. If you're rapping. No need to put pistols and all that in your video. No need to put no. No drugs and all that in your video. Get in on your talent. Or hey, if you got a troll and and do the drill thing and all that. Well, go that route. But you don't have to have pistols in it. Use water guns. You know, be creative. Use water guns. Use steel pipes and just have the end of it look like a barrel. You know, be creative with what you do. But don't get these folks a reason to take you off the streets. You know, don't get these folks a reason to take your freedom. Because these dudes, it's like they glorify going to jail or or being unalive and they ain't even reached 25 yet i watched a video earlier and they were showing a lot of rappers that's not here with us no more and ain't nobody with nobody over 30. and i want to say the youngest was like 16. i was like man these dudes ain't ain't live no time they ain't experienced nothing you know they ain't they ain't did nothing in life because to go that young is not a flex. And then people a joke or say something about a dude that's in his 40s or 50s. Calling him an old, an old dude or he washed up. Newsflash, it's a blessing to be able to reach that age, y'all. Come on now. Your best years don't come to you like 40 and 50. When you got that sense and you done been through everything. And now you know what to do with your money. Now you know who love you and who don't. Now you know the moves you need to make. Now you're thinking of put back for your children or grandchildren and, you know, stack your money to where when you get older than what you are then, you can just sit back and chill. Versus people that's in the ground now and and past never 24, 25, never had kids, never got married, never, you know, seen grandchildren, never experienced buying their first home. Never had a threesome or something. You know, just simple things, man. That you never experienced because you're not here no more. So be smarter, man. Take heed of what you see right now. Be wide through the hallway. Like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good shit. Make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't. And as always, man, hold up for your shit. Do what you're supposed to do. Not what you want to do. And we out.